Now, they built a big ship down in Harland. She was made for the sail to the Turks. And they called on the yard's chief designer to design all the engines and works. Now, finally, the engines was ready. They screwed in the very last part. Your man says, uh, Let's see how's your runs, lad. But Jesus, the thing wouldn't start. <laughs> so they pushed on the work and the footered. And the engineer's faces got red. The designer, he stood looking stupid. Scratching the back of his head. And while they were fiddling and working, up down there to old Jimmy Dahl's ale. He had worked twenty years in the island, ten in the aircraft as well. So he pushes and fiddles and footers. He gets himself through to the front. He has a good look round the engine. He gives a few mutters and grunts. Then he looks up at the gaffer. So see, Mr. Smith, do you know? They've left out the diagonal steam trap. How the hell do you think it could go? Now the engineer aid the designer. The designer, he looks at the hut. And the whispers of one to the other. Diagonal steam trap, what's that? But the gaffer, he wouldn't admit, like, to not knowing what this was about. So he says, right enough, we were stupid. <laughs> the diagonal steam drops left out. In the meantime, old Jimmy had scarbered, like, way down to throw in his beard. The gaffer comes up and says, Jimmy, uh, do you think it would have a wee word, like, uh, see a diagonal steam drop? I know what's left out, it's bad luck. But the engine shop's terrible busy, yeah. Do you think he could knock us one up? Well, Jimmy was laughing, he's gone off like. <laughs> he had made it all up for a gig. <laughs> he seen what was stopping the engine. Feed pipe was blocked with a rag. He sticks the old horns in the pockets and he says, Right, I'll give you a horn. Knock you one up in the morning, the whole bloody thing will be grand. So while Jim starts to work the next morning to make what he called a steam trap, an old box, a few bits of tubing, a steam gauge stuck up in the top, and he wells it all on till the engine. He says to the wandering mob, as long as that gauge is at zero, <laughs> the steam trap is doing its job. <laughs> and he pulls the rag out of the feed pipe and he gives the old engine a try. But Jesus, she goes like the clobbers. Now Jimmy remarks, that's her now. Now, the ship was the fastest seen ever. So they sent her away to the Turks. But to tell them, that steam trap's a secret. We are the only ones knows how that works. <laughs> but the Turks, they could not keep their mouths shut. Soon the whole story got round. And the Russians got quite interested. <laughs> Them boys has their ears to the ground. So they sent a spy, dressed as a sailor, to take footies of Jimmy's steam trap. And they got them all back to the Kremlin. They stood round to look at the snobs. <laughs> and the head spy says, uh, Mr. Gasegan, uh, I think it was a long time ago, you? <laughs> the head spy says, uh, Mr. Gasegan, uh, I'm damned if I see how that works. So they sent them straight off to Siberia and they bought the whole ship from the Turks. Now when they found the steam trap was a cordly, couldn't admit they'd been hard. So 
from the Bella Big Factory in Moscow. Start making steam traps like ma. <laughs> then Kasegan rings up Mr. Nixon. Like I told you, it was a long time ago. Kasegan rings up Mr. Nixon. So see, you and think she's are great. Like Kasegan had a Belfast accent. <laughs> see, you and think she's are great. But we are big new Russian made steam trap. You will find we have got you so old bit. Well, Nixon, he nearly went Harbick. So he thought he'd give Harlan's a call. And he dialed the engine shop number. Of course he got sweet bugger all. <laughs> <laughs> but at last the call come through to Jimmy. In the midst of a terrible hush, there's a call for you here from the White House. Says, Oh, Jim, that's a shop in Port Rush. <laughs> there's a factory outside of Seattle where they're turning out steam traps like hell. It employs 25,000 workers. On the head of it, Jimmy Dahl said. Thank you very much. Thank you.